Hey everyone, my name is Abhishek and today we are going to create this documentary style animation in After Effects. Now this is a quite popular style of animation, you might have seen this on Fox videos and some other documentary style edits and it's very easy to create. So let's see how to make this in After Effects. Alright, so right now I'm in After Effects and we'll begin by creating a new composition. Let's call this one main, width and height will be 1920 by 1080, frame rate 30 fps and duration you can pick whatever you want, just click on OK. Now we have our main composition and we are going to create one more composition for our base layer and for that I'm going to go to composition and let's call this one base rest of the things will remain same just click on OK. Now before I proceed I have already imported a couple of these textures which I am going to use and I'll put a link in the description from where you can download these for free. So once you're done with this let me just quickly pick one of them. So let's pick this base and let's drag it over here. So it's basically a paper texture sort of thing and i'm going to quickly scale this down so let's put it something like that and we can press r and let's rotate it by 90 degree like that we can just scale this down there you go perfect now we basically want this to like keep on animating so for that i'm going to quickly zoom in and let's go to somewhere around five frames now i'm going to select this layer press ctrl shift t to split this layer and on this one i'm going to press r and let's just rotate it by let's say 90 plus 180 degree so that it is like flipped upside down like that now again let's move a couple of frames ahead press ctrl shift t to split this layer press s and i'm going to inject these values or you can just simply select this right click and let's go to transform and let's flip this horizontally then again we can go a couple of frames ahead ctrl shift t let's select this one and this time we can flip this vertically so if i play you can see that we have this little bit of variation in the texture which is exactly what we want and after that let's go to somewhere around here press ctrl shift t now i'm going to select this press s and we can probably just scale this up like that and just randomly place it to something like that now again let's like five frames Control shift t and we can move this one to the other side perfect let's move five frames Control shift t and this one we can just move it like down below over here let's again move like five frames Control shift t and on this one i'm going to just move it to this side so here you can see we have multiple variations now at like somewhere around here Control shift t i'm going to just select this and let's delete that now we want this animation we want this composition to be like this long only so you can either select this endpoint and just drag it to this point or you can just simply press n on your keyboard like that now we can probably extend this now after that just right click and trim comb to work area Perfect. So now if I press play, you can see we have this animated sort of texture, which is exactly what we want. Now we can go back to the main composition and over here we can drag our base comb like that. Perfect. Now we want this to like keep on going. So in order to do that, we can select this right click time. Let's enable time remapping and over here we can add an expression to extend this. So you can hold on the alt key and just click on the stopwatch. After that, you can type loop out like that now you can just simply drag the endpoint and you can extend it to however length you want so basically we have extended and it will keep on playing the same animation on a loop and we can probably just move it a little bit ahead so now if i press play you can see we have this texture going on perfect now this is a little bit too white for me so i'm going to right click new let's add a solid now this is completely up to you so let's make this uh, sort of like gray or something like that just click on ok perfect now i'm going to place this down below and we can select this press t just let's lower it lower down the opacity of it to something like this yeah i think 90 looks good for me perfect now we have the texture as well now we're done with this and we can do one more thing in order to have like little bit of more variation or more texture we can add a noise effect to this so let's search for noise and let's drag it onto this and amount you can just play around you can either just crank this up all the way up like this but it's too much so i'm going to just leave it to very subtle like five percent now we don't want any kind of color so i'm going to just uncheck use color noise so this will give you the gray and white texture you can see the difference here we have the noise and here we don't have 
so it will add a little bit of more depth to your background perfect so once you're done with this we are ready to add some elements which we want to animate now the basic idea of animating these sort of documentary style edit is to have a stop motion kind of effect so for that you can have any image or video which you want to like reveal so for this example i'm going to use this monument so this one is basically a png image and you can use whatever image you want you can even use image of a person as well so let me just quickly scale this according to whatever you want perfect so let's quickly give it a really nice vintage sort of look and i'm going to search for tritone effect and let's just simply drag it over here perfect now we can just pick this point and let's just play around with these colors and yeah i think this looks good to me perfect so here we have our image now our next step is to animate it out so it's actually quite easy all we have to do is just simply select the pen tool and make sure that this layer is selected so first we are going to create a mask and then we will animate that mask to reveal this image slowly so let me just quickly show you how to do that so let's create a very rough mask so just simply start adding some points like that perfect so here we have our shape now i'm going to quickly zoom in so let's zoom in to somewhere around this one second mark or let's say to two seconds perfect now i'm going to select this press m to reveal the mask property let's create a keyframe for mask path now let's move like a couple of frames behind so somewhere around like five frames and over here we can just simply select these points so let's select this one and just start them like moving a little bit so that some of the area is not visible and let's move like five frames ahead and again let's hide this out so we're basically just animating the mask like that now again let's move like five frames so there you go now you can see that we have none of the images visible and we have created all our keyframes now we don't want this beginning part or we can just simply select all the keyframes and let's just move them to the very beginning like that so we have nothing and after that we, it is revealing now you will notice that these are revealing like way too smooth we actually want a little bit of stop motion or jittery sort of look so for that you can select the keyframes right click and over here we have this toggle hold keyframe now you can see that it will only animate when we have the keyframe option available like that so here you can see we have this appearing up perfect so before we continue if you enjoy my work and you want to support me then you can check out my patreon page over there you will get access to the tutorial project files and exclusive templates that are available only to patreon so make sure to check it out link for that is in the description now let's continue so we have our stop motion look on this one now we can press s to scale this up and let's just start placing it where we want this to be so let's place it somewhere around here you can also press r to rotate it if you want but let's keep it like that now we can add some elements to this to like really enhance it so let's select the ellipse tool and you can add some random shapes whatever you want so i'm going to just simply create a ellipse and let's change its color and i'm going to just make this like let's say keep it to the orange sort of thing and now let's place it below this layer and we can just simply scale this up and just place it over here now this is completely experimental you can just have any sort of random shape perfect now we can do one more thing we can just basically parent this to this layer so that if we move this to somewhere other place then it is always visible but we don't want the circle to be visible in the beginning so we can animate it by using the scale property so let's press s add a keyframe and go somewhere around here set this to zero now we can select the keyframes press f9 to easy ease them now you can click over here to go to the graph editor if your graph looks different make sure you are using the speed graph not the value graph i'm going to select this and let's just change it to look something like that yeah i think this is good but it's a little bit too fast perfect so yeah this is looking good now we can probably trim this off nice now you can play around with its position now it's completely up to you you can just make it bigger or smaller however you want just make sure to do it on the keyframe 
yeah i think this looks good perfect so we have our two elements now let's add some text to this so for that we can use another texture so let's select one of these and i have this paper texture again the download link for these are available on in the description so you can download it from there and let me just quickly scale this up it's quite big perfect so on this one we can simply select this and just randomly create a mask something like that so it, this is looking good let me just quickly add my text as well so let's select this and you can type whatever you want i'm going to type the name of this building and for the font i'm using this one but it's completely up to you you can use whatever font you want and let's make this black because it will add some contrast to this now we can probably place it wherever you want and let's simply select the paper texture and let's place it like that perfect now you can play around with the position and the scale of this text so yeah i think this looks good we can probably place it somewhere around here perfect now let's play with the look of this paper texture so on this one we can do a couple of things so first one we can do is we can apply some curves and let's just simply drag it onto this and the next one which we can do is we, we can apply tint and let's drag it over here for the tint you can play around with the color and let's just make this like that now you can play around with the curves to like have a lot of texture or something like that so there you go now you can see we are able to see some texture in the background and we have our text as well you can play around with the brightness or the color so yeah, i think this is looking good perfect so once you're done with this again we can animate it but first let me just quickly parent it to the paper texture so that we can just simply move the paper texture and our text will follow it now let's place it somewhere around here and we can again play around with the positions of these elements so yeah i think this looks good perfect now we can select this press m for mask and again we are going to do the same thing so let's create a mask over here now let me just quickly zoom in again let's set it over here now let's move like five frames and just start doing the same thing that we did with the this image so let's just simply pack it up like that again let's move like five frames perfect there you go now we have created this and again we can just simply select all the keyframes and then right click and let's set them to toggle hold keyframe now we don't want this in the beginning so we can trim this out and we can do the same thing with the text as well perfect now if i press play you can see we have our paper textures like folding and coming out perfect now we want this to reveal our text as well so in order to do that you can just simply select this text and i'm going to use the track mode option now if you're using the older versions of after effects then you have to like duplicate this layer place this on top of the text and after that you have to drop down and just simply select the track mode option but if you're using the newer versions then you can just simply select this and over here we have this track mode option you can just simply select this pick whip and just drag it onto this paper texture like that now you will notice that it will hide the paper texture but we actually want it to be visible so you can just simply click on this eye icon and it will make it appear like that but now if i move around you can see that our text will be appearing as our paper texture is like coming up like that perfect so this is exactly what we wanted now we can select this press ctrl d and let's add one more text and let's select this and i'm going to quickly type Rome, but it's completely up to you let's type a random number it's completely up to you. you can use whatever you want now we have this and again we have to parent it to the right image which is this one and we have to select the track mat of this image as well again let's make it appear now on this one we can do a couple of things so first i don't want this to be like red i want this to be a little bit white or let's keep it like sort of this perfect so yeah i think this is looking good now we can select the paper texture and let's press s to scale this down again we can press u and 
let's select this and we can just move it somewhere around here now you can see that both of these look very similar so we can have little bit of variations so i think this is looking good so here we have our two elements now i think we have to like align each everything so we can just move it a little bit to this side perfect so i think this looks good nice now there are a couple of things that you can do we can have a little bit of more elements so what i'm going to do is i'm going to select one of these paper textures let's press ctrl d and let's just place it over here and on this one we can just simply press s let's uncheck these values and we can just simply scale this up and let's just place it all the way down here behind this and we can again press s this is completely experimental this is just adding some random textures and let's just make it darker like that here you can see we have added this and in the same way you can just simply select this press ctrl d and we can just place one of it over here sort of like that perfect so here we have a little bit of variation of it like this now we can probably select a couple of these so we can offset them a little bit so that all of these are not coming like at once like this so there you go now you can see we have these elements coming up pretty good nice so in this way you can add more elements to this if you want if you have multiple images then you can use the same masking technique and you can just animate them out but now we are pretty much done with what our content is supposed to be and now we can add a little bit of more texture or sort of animation to this and basically we want to add a little bit of jittery sort of animation so these elements are not still and they are like continuously moving and for that you can right click new and let's add an adjustment layer and on this one i'm going to apply turbulent displace and just drag it over here and the amount i'm going to set this to 5 and the size i'm going to set this to 30 and these are the settings that i have played around and these looks very good so if you want you can copy these otherwise you can just experiment with these now we don't want this to be like static we want this to be like keep on moving and for that we can add an expression to the random seed so if you go under the evolution options we have this random seed option now hold on the alt key and click on the stopwatch and over here we can type this expression time times four now again i have tried many combination but this works good for me so if you want to have like more variation then you can just simply set this to like 40 or 50 to give it a like faster jittery movement but this one looks good to me so i'm going to stuck to this one there you go now you can see that we have a little bit of jittery sort of look over here perfect and at last we can do one more thing i have this video texture which we can drag over here and we can just simply set this to screen and let's search for curves let's drag it over here and let's just crank this up so you can see that it will add these textures on top of our layer like this and which will make it like a little bit more interesting like that perfect now you can select this press ctrl d and just simply place it over here as well so now if i press play here you can see we have created our documentary style of look and again you can just keep on adding more elements to this and you can have your full edit so the project files for this tutorial is available on patreon so if you are supporting me over there then you can download it from there and if you are not then you might consider it because you will get access to the tutorial project files and exclusive templates that are available only on patreon so with that being said my name is abhishek and i'll see you in the next one